You're very welcome, honey. No, you can always count on me for sure. Sorry. <laughs> I'm getting ready to walk over and get my nasty medication. Oh, we're almost 200 people. NASCAR fan. Oh, I'm not writing that down. I'm not writing anybody down. <laughs> no. I'm writing key things I want to ask about that job over there. As I'm sitting here not talking to nobody. <laughs> I have my Medicaid card. Well, probably going to move out of the room. Throw everything you see away because I can't keep it. And get my meds and walk 35 hours to court. <laughs> so. Bounce. And I'm sick. I had to go to the hospital last night. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Please hold. Okay. Me too. I thought I was over the pneumonia. <laughs> Yeah, I've got high hopes today. I had a little talk with God today, this morning, and uh, early this morning, and and with my mama, and manifested a lot today. I know. Did you? I have pneumonia, so that's like, ugh. I thought I was over it, but I'm not. Oh, thank you. Thank you so very much. That reminded me to put my battery pack in. Yeah. They said that they seen the one that was previously broke. They said it's healing up just fine. But this one here is up a little higher. Oh my gosh. And they said like it could like splinter. <laughs> I mean I made jokes with the doctor because he was kind of cute, but you know, hey. I'm loud. <sighs> Where is April? That's when I got back from, uh, that's when I got back from the uh, hospital. Everybody wanted to know how I was and what was going on, what the doctor say. So I came live and told everybody. I hope that was okay. Oh, I know. He was cute. He was handsome. He was pretty. 
Yeah, you have that, you might as well forget it. You are not going up there and talking to no cute doctor. You're going to be like, mm, hold that thought. <laughs> Oh, we got 200 people in here. Yeah, where is April? Use a shopping cart to put your stuff in. <laughs> like, where did she go? I mean, I can tell you one of them right off the rip up here. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot on here I haven't seen in a long time. Man. Wow. Well, I don't know where she went. Uh, if I have to, yeah. That's what you do when you don't have a car. Thank you, Becky. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. So, and the doctor, me and him got into a little argument about that, too. He's he said, you're going to go back over there and rest because he was going to keep me last night. And I was like, nope. I got a baby over there. Nope, nope, nope. And uh, with all the phone calls coming in and stuff, I just, mm -hmm. And so he let me come over here. He said, you're going to rest, right? I said, nope. I got to walk 35. Oh, God, 35 minutes. 35 hours, sorry, my bad. I keep trying to downsize that just to make it sound good. It don't sound fun at all. And plus, it's going to be raining. Oh, shit, the bad friend. It's okay. I got this, too. Ooh. Where are you live? What? What do you mean, where am I live? What does that mean? Huh? Maybe there's a fellow uh, hotel guest that's getting out. Uh, no, nobody gives anybody rides around here. I found that out. Yes, yes, yes. We're, oh, I'm in a hotel till uh, 11 o'clock. But I'll be in this live here in about 15 minutes because I got I got something weird I gotta get. To. Where do you live? Uh, no, she knows I don't have a I don't have a place to live. She followed me for quite some time. Yeah, I'm gonna put my glasses back on because that's not what I seen and said. <laughs> I kill me. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. She knows I look. I live in Ohio. Trisha McKeenan, uh, I think she offered me a place to stay a, a while back ago. I just couldn't get to where she lives at. See, I remember. Hey, that's pretty good for my memory. Nope, not really. Everything was closed, so I'm going to go out and get it here in a few minutes. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Anybody more welcome to come up in the box if they want. Hi, Truffles. 
give you my blessing, but I ain't the Pope. Oh. Oh, 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 my foot is stuck on something. Not really, but I'll survive. I hope there's like speedways and gas stations along the way. That way I can stop and recharge the batteries, if you know what I mean. Oh, I will after I go to the... Okay, go ahead. I got to get off here at 10.15 because I have an appointment. And hopefully I come back and say, I got a job. Here comes Trisha. Oh. Hello, love. Hello. How you doing? Oh, <clears throat> trying to get over pneumonia, I guess, because that's what they said I had last night. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, it's not good. Well, it's it's like, one thing, it's another. <laughs> right, they said, because I was like, you could hear me breathing and stuff, and I just thought it was my asthma. And uh, they, they, I was like, what's all that cloudy stuff right there? Where, where's the where's the rib break at? I want to see it. They said, see all that cloudy stuff right there? That's pneumonia. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> then they gave me, like, medicine right here. My whole arm hurts. And then they wrote, like, five prescriptions. Oh, wow. <clears throat> I'll be so happy when that things get better for you. Oh. <sighs> Been a while. I need a hot toddy. I need a hot toddy. <laughs> that would help. Yes, it would. <laughs> but my grandma ain't around to make one. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> We're gonna have to get her recipe. <laughs> I've been I've been trying to dial nine one one memo and, and she won't answer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. Uh, it's for my lungs. It's it's uh. I'm not going to say it on here because I can get nannered and I'm not going to do it. What's a hot... Oh, they don't know what a hot, hot toddy is. What? I thought everybody knew what a hot yeah. toddy was. <laughs> Hold on. I got to really get up here close and personal because I thought everybody knew what that was. I did too. <laughs> uh it's something that my grandma makes, and you drink it, and you put a sweat outfit on, and by the time you wake up, you're all better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the best ways I can explain it. <laughs> you are fine and dandy to go to work if you work second shift. <laughs> and happy. If, if you're sick on, like, right when you get up in the morning... You have, have have grandma make that? You drink it, you go to bed for like three or four hours, you get up, you go right to work, you're good to go. Thank you. That's exactly what it is right there. But you heat it up, right? Just a little bit? Put honey, you put honey in it too? Yeah. Honey, lemon, juice is the best. They heat it up though, don't they? Yeah, yeah. that's what I thought. Because my grandma used to get it too hot, and she'd be like, drink it, drink it, drink it now. And I'm like, it's burning me, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it clears everything up. Oh, yeah, after that, you won't get sick for at least a year. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being honest. <laughs> It, it's nasty, but just hold your breath and swing it down, and you're good. Yes. Oh. See, I don't know how I knew that. That was pretty cool. And Irish. Yeah, that's what it basically is. Yes. Yep, just write it down what it is, and it's just like get a little coffee cup, and by the time you get it to the top, it, you got to add. All the equal parts, I guess, and then you heat it up and you whoop. 
Happy, happy, happy. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> You'll definitely be happy. <laughs> yes. She'll be like, good night, sweetheart. Well, I'll see you in three hours. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I was like uh, 13 and I had the flu real bad and I was spending the night with my uh, with my grandma and she goes you tell your mom I'm about to do this and I'll whoop that ass I was like do what? what are we doing so what are we doing because me and grandma we used to go like just window shopping all the time we didn't leave the house at all that weekend <laughs> I'm sitting over not feeling good and she says here drink it I was like okay and she's over there in my bag getting a getting a hoodie out and getting a blanket and I'm going who's going to bed I found out who went to bed I did <laughs> I swigged that down she put that hoodie on me she wrapped that blanket around me and the time she had that blanket around me, I was sitting over in the corner going, <laughs> I was gone. <laughs> but it helps you not go to the doctor. <laughs> yes, it does. So how you been? How you been, girl? I haven't seen you in a hot minute. Oh, same old, same old. Still staying in the garage. <laughs> At least I got a roof over oh, my head. No. You know, that's why you need to come stay with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need to do something because uh, this situation backfired in my face real quick. No. Oh. Yeah, it did. And I didn't even say nothing to her. I don't know. But it is. It, it, it's okay. It was overwhelming. I, I can be a little bit overwhelming. That's like, okay. I can, God puts us through things, and He makes it makes us stronger. Right. I just want God to make me like. Don't be so damn needy. <laughs> I hear you. But it's hard when you're out here and nothing, you know. And now I have no car, and. Uh, it sucks. I know, girl. I've been there. I know. I don't want. I don't want to start crying, though. I don't want to start crying because I got a lot of stuff here, and they're not gonna hold it for me. Uh, they said they'll throw it away after like 24 hours or whatever. Oh. <laughs> so, I'm trying to fit everything I can in this little tiny purse of mine, and it's not working to my advantage. <laughs> right. I'm so, sorry. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. Let's let's get back to being happy. I was in the same state. We be, we we hang out together. We get this shit together. But hopefully they hire me over there because I'm really I really want that job over there. Who am I staying with? I'm in a hotel room. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, no, no. I would send the money. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go over later. <laughs> Somebody's ringing. That is a cool ringtone. I like it. <laughs> I love it. Uh, who's that? Uh... Well, I'm at the office, girl. I just want to say hi to you and see how you're doing. You All right, hon. You go take care of what you got to take care of. Okay, I'll holler at you later. All right, love you. Love you. Be safe. Have a good one. All right, bye. All right. Okay. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it only takes 35 hours to walk from here to there. I sat down, mapped it out. Yeah, Princess ain't gonna like me, but yeah. Because I did ask them, could, you know, was they hiring and could they 
let me work here a little bit to where I can get money together so I can go home. Only 35 hours. That's nothing. You can't, you can always, if you put your mind to it, you can do it. See? I can't remember the other way that it said, so I said it my way. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a Fruit Loop. <laughs> I know, but I gotta get to court. See, I knew Jennifer was gonna come out and be like, Jen, wait a minute, hold up, man. And that is a lot of, that's a lot of walking. <laughs> I don't have a choice, dear. I do not have a choice. I can't get a car. Nobody will help me get a van or whatever. Um, so, I gotta do it. We climb mountains for fun 35 hours and that. Right, 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 yep. Yep. You knew kind of like where I was going with it. <sighs> oh, just right down here. I'm not going to give no, like, locations or nothing because that's that could be hazardous to my health. I'm not trying to be mean, I, but I just want to let you know the other night there was a woman, some woman, do, let me say, hold Oh, okay. Talking really bad about you. I know. I told her that I didn't want to go out to dinner with her, and she got mad. So then she started talking bad about me. But then again, I'm not living in the past. I don't care if people talk about me. They just can keep on making me TikTok famous. I'm moving forward. I'm not going backwards. I'm moving forward. My rearview mirror's done been ripped off. Sorry. It, it's TikTok. TikTok is what you make it. And I've learned that... Okay, Pizza Slayer. We've done one over this last night. Just because they say there's an Uber ride here doesn't really mean there's an Uber ride. That is the app. And my court is like two hours away. So I don't think taking an Uber, that's going to be like almost $200. That's $200 that I could have saved for the van that me and Princess could stay in instead of paying $80, $85, $90 a day for a room. Because I'll go back to going to Planet Fitness. I need to get my my workout on anyway. Yep. I'm not going to miss this. I'm not going to give anybody the satisfaction about getting a warrant on me and me going to jail. So I will do what I have to do to get there to that court day. And I will do it with a smile on my face. Because that's what we're here for. Positivity. But I will fit all this little stuff in this purse before I zip it up. Watch. Watch and learn. <laughs> because I ain't got nowhere else to put it. And put it. <laughs> Uh, somewhere along the road, I'm going to be walking 35 hours straight. <laughs> yeah, that's what it said on Google Map. Yeah. I've looked up uh, people that have vans. They got them for 600. They got them for 550. They got them for 700. And if you add up a week-long stay here at this place... That's a van right there. And I need to be able to get to the doctor and take regular good care of me. And I need to be able to go to the store. Everybody 
Kent needs a car. You know what I mean? Hey, it don't matter. I got to do what I got to do. And I will not go to jail for him at all. I will make it to court, whether it take come hell or high water. If I got to walk it, I will walk it. <laughs> Oh, I know you're not being mean. No, it is mandatory to be there. All right. Pineapple. <laughs> exactly. And I will give nobody the satisfaction of watching me go to jail again. That ain't going to happen. <laughs> not in this lifetime, not next lifetime. And the one after that don't look good either. And I am sick because I had to go to the emergency room last night. And, yeah. Ugh. Thank you. I don't need luck. I got God. God God's got me on this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would be cool. Uh, that would be real cool. But you know how that goes. Sometimes you do it, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. I'm just saying it would be physically impossible to walk 30. It's 35 hours, and I'll have two inhalers with me. Uh... I'm not giving anybody the satisfaction of watching me go to jail over something that is not, that was taken totally out of contact. So, I don't care if I have to claw my way there. They will see my happy face on the second. And if you all don't see this determination in my eyes, hmm. <laughs> this is where you're actually going to see the real fighter come out man and me because i'm going to be there and i'll even put bells on too Okay, insurance, Medicaid, will not take you to court. I've already called. I mean, I did. I'm listening to you, dear. Don't act like I'm not. I really am. We're having a really good conversation. Shopping cart. <laughs> is, that like, is that like your safe word? Like, my safe word's pineapple. Is your shopping cart? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> oh, I didn't say we're just going to walk straight through. Um, we're going to take breaks. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for clarifying that. All going in this purse, whether they ain't like or not. Going in here. <laughs> Yay! I got it to close and all. Yay! What is it? No, I said safe word. Like my safe word's pineapple. I thought yours was like shopping cart. Oh, okay, cool. You'll get a shopping cart for me? Yeah, and I can put Princess's blankets down in it and put her up in there and she can just, I'll push it and ride. Phone charge just in case. Oh, yes, and I have a battery pack too.
Hmm. Yep. Getting her done. And that way, I mean, let's look at the. Sorry, talk to you. <laughs> And and this might be funny, but that way, if I like totally fall out up there on the road somewhere, they'll be like, "Well, she almost made it to court." <laughs> <laughs> About noon today. She almost made it to court. <laughs> oh. But I got to get off here and I. I don't. I'm not calling an Uber. I don't have any money, so how can I call an Uber? I still walked across the street. Are we getting some lovin's in here? Are we getting some lovin's in here? But I still walked across the street. Thank you, Melissa. And I didn't say we weren't going to stop and take a break here or there. Come on now. Let's be nice. And if anybody wants to live in the past, just don't say nothing. No, there's no buses or anything. This is like Amish country. If you come here to live, get your horse and buggy. <laughs> that was funny. I made a funny. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing else fit in that bag. Oh, it's okay, princess. We're getting ready to move on up out of the room, though. I got to take all this shit to trash. Uh. Hello, Turo for car rental. You said Turo car rental. I can't afford that rental. Take the price of the rental car every day. And I can apply that to get in a van. And I could be a soccer mom. It's an app. Okay, hold on. Where'd my bag go? I gotta hurry up because I got like 10 minutes. Uh, no, I gotta move out of the... Save, keep me posted. Oh, you know I will. I don't know how to do Turo. Isn't it just like car, car like uh, rental? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're fine. I didn't ask enough for nothing. Download the. App. Okay, hold on. We'll download the app right now. Hold on.
It's downloading. Can I rent a car? Need a car rental for 500 Alex. Mm, mm. They rent cars cheap. Really? I've never heard of that. This is the first time I've ever heard of this. Ole. I really gotta get over and get my medicine. Mm. I don't feel good. Sorry. I love you, Tammy Tam. <laughs> How do you return the car? I guess, I don't know. How do we turn the car? How do we return the car? Sorry. Right. I have no idea. Oh my, I could rent my car for... What? No, I just wanted... That's what my goal was, but... It's not necessarily an appointment appointment. They'll be there all day. I have all day to go over there. Come on now. Okay. Okay, well. Huh. Wow. Trip from the airport to court. Who's from the airport to the court? Who's going from the airport to the court? I don't even know. I ain't been out of here. <laughs> well, I've been over the hospital, that's it. Who's going to the airport? Then get someone to do the route back. Oh, Philly and New York has rent a wreck inexpensive car rentals. Really? Huh. That is neat. Who would have thought of something like that? I have to look something up right here. All right. I wouldn't let nobody rent that car out. I'd be like bubble wrap, bubble wrap, bubble wrap. Mm, no. I don't think so. I don't know. I just don't know.